In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom shape transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got two video clips on the timeline next to each other, we can begin by creating a new black video. So we'll go to new item, black video, press OK, and we'll drag that onto video layer two. Then you just want to trim the end down to make sure that the video is roughly a second long and it wants to sit directly on top of where the video should transition. Now from here, we're going to go into effects. We'll search for tint, that's T-I-N-T. Drop that onto the black video and we're going to go map black two and select a color of your choice. So here we are just adding a color onto the solid. Now there are many different shape transitions that you can create inside of Premiere, but let's begin with a rectangle because this black solid is the same shape as the composition, which is a rectangle. We'll go through to the point where the video transitions and then we'll go six frames to the left. From there, we'll just pull the position of this solid all the way over to the left. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on position. Now we'll go to that transition point again and we'll go six frames to the right. And we're just going to pull that over to the right and then just off screen. You don't want to completely send it off. You just want it to be just off screen like this. Now, when we play this back, you can see that was a really quick transition. Now, if you wanted to, we will just convert this first keyframe to an ease out and the second keyframe to an ease in. So essentially when it eases out of that first point, it's going to slowly accelerate into it. And then when it hits the second point, it's going to slow down into that. So that was a rectangle transition. Now, if you wanted to slow this down, then that's totally fine. But you have to make sure you move the keyframes the same amount of frames on the left and the right. So if we move this one three frames to the left, we also need to move this one three frames to the right. The problem is if I didn't move the second one, then you might see the video transition between those clips. So that is the rectangle transition. Let me show you how to do this with a circle. Now, in order to create a circle transition, we are just going to select the ellipse mask. So we've created an ellipse mask, which is just a circle. And if we just press inverted, that's going to flip that. Now we'll pull the mask feather down to zero to get rid of any soft edges. And essentially, if we go to the mask expansion tool, this is the transition that we are going to make. So we're going to start off with the mask expansion all the way up to 1728. We're going to go to the transition point and then we'll go six frames to the left again. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask expansion. We'll go to the transition point and we'll go six frames to the right again. And we'll just create another keyframe again at 1728. Now we'll go to the transition point, so exactly halfway between those keyframes, and we'll just pull that down until it fills the screen. So that is minus 482. And when we play this back, you can see that is that transition. Again, same thing, you can slow this down if you wanted to, you just have to make sure the keyframes move the same amount of time. So the left is going to go six frames to the left, and that means the right needs to go six to the right. Now, when we play this back, again, that was a really beautiful transition using a shape layer and that circle mask. Now, the great thing with these transitions is they are stackable, which means you can add different layers to create different color elements. So let's just get rid of the circle transition we've been working on and let's bring back the rectangle. So we've got this soft blue purple rectangle transition. Now, if we make a copy of this, so we'll hold Command C, move over Command V and then drag that underneath. If we just delay the bottom one by two frames and then we change the matte black to a slightly different color, so let's go for a soft pink, you'll notice that we get this nice pink background up here afterwards. So we've created a layer and again we can keep doing that, we can keep building on that transition so we'll create another copy, move that one two frames over. We'll change the color of that one to a soft red, maybe. And when we transition out, you can see we've got those three different layers there. 
Now there's a lot that you can do with a basic shape layer, some keyframe animation, and a little bit of masking. You can create so many different interesting and unique transitions. So I definitely recommend creating a black video adding a tint and just have a go at making some creative transitions because if you can create your own transitions, then you can save those as presets. So if for example, I wanted to create a preset out of this transition, then all I would need to do is highlight all, right click, nest, we'll call this transition one. Then you would just find the transition points so when the screen is filled somewhere around here. And now I can just keep using this over and over again. And if I wanted to, I could export this keeping the transparent background intact. And then I've got myself an exported transition that I can use over and over again. And there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please consider subscribing or maybe even checking out this video up here. See you there.